both ready for the journey back to Earth? Of course, sir. I'm always ready. Earth is like my second home now, sir. Good. Today, you guys have to gather information about light on Earth. How much they understand about light? That's what I really want to know. Now you can go. Yes, yes sir! sir. Dark. There is no light here. That's why we can't see anything. But I can see your eyeballs. <laughs> now you can see my pretty face. <laughs> now you guys know how important light is in life. We need light to enable us to see things. Light has been an important form of energy for living things since the beginning of time. Light is a form of energy. The sources of light include the sun, a lit candle, and electrical appliances such as torches and table lamps. Light is a form of energy that enables us to see things clearly so we can do our activities properly and well. If there is no light, unwanted things can happen. Where are we actually? What part of Earth is this? How do I know? I'm just an alien on this planet. Oh! There's a hole out there. Let's go! A hole? That means we are underground. Do you see what I see? I see what you see. We are at a graveyard. <laughs> Let's go to that house. We have some experiments to do. That house looks scary though. M Mira, you lead the way. Light travels in straight lines in all directions. Let's watch an experiment. If we sit here and look through the hole, the light of the candle can be seen. This is because the holes in the three pieces of cardboard are arranged in a straight line. If you move one of the cardboard pieces, the light of the candle cannot be seen. This is because the light cannot pass through one of the pieces of cardboard. This shows that light travels in a straight line. Objects that do not allow light to pass through are called opaque objects. Another group of objects that can block light beams are called translucent objects. Only some light can pass through. These objects allow light to pass through. These objects are called transparent objects. They allow light to travel through them completely. See this? This proves that light travels in straight lines. 
Where did you get that torchlight? I found it in this house. Arif, there's a big, dark monster behind you. What? <laughs> That's your shadow, silly. I knew that. I was just trying to be funny. Okay, guys. As we all know, because light travels in a straight line and because it cannot pass through an opaque object like me, therefore, shadows are formed. A shadow is formed when light is blocked by an opaque or translucent object. This is because light cannot pass through these objects. The size of the shadows depend on the distance between the object and the light source. If the object is near the light source or there is less light, the size of the shadow increases. If the object is far from the light source or it is bright, the size of the shadow decreases. In Malaysia, there is a traditional performance called the Wayang Kulit. It's like a puppet show but it's performed using translucent puppets. And against the light, these puppets create shadows. This cultural pastime has been around for many years now. <laughs> can you see this, guys? The light can be reflected by this mirror. The reflection of light happens when a light beam changes its direction after it hits a surface of an object. A sharp image is formed when light is reflected from a smooth and shiny surface like this mirror. A blurred image is formed when light is reflected from a rough surface. We can see more clearly with the lights on. <laughs> what are you doing? I wanted to see what's outside without opening this door. So I'm using this mirror to do so. The most important use of light reflection is that it enables us to see things that are difficult to look at directly. You see guys, there are so so many ways we use the theory of light reflection in our daily lives. There are some examples we would like to show you. When someone drives a car or rides a motorcycle, they can only see what's in front of them. But what about behind them? The side mirror will help them to see what is behind. Reflection mirrors that are placed at junctions or sharp bends and corners of the road can help drivers to watch out for oncoming vehicles. With such a mirror, they will be able to know whether it is safe to turn or come out from a junction. A dental mirror helps a dentist to look at the difficult-to-reach areas in our mouth. The mirror is used to check whether our gums and teeth are healthy. A mirror in barbershops or hairdressing saloons can help us to see whether our hair has been properly cut. Submarines move below the surface of the sea most of the time. However, people in submarines can see what is above the surface by using a periscope. A 
periscope is made up of mirrors that are placed in such a way that the image from an object above the surface of the sea is reflected to another mirror. This allows the people within the submarine to see what the image is. Eh? <gasps> now we are back to where we started, without any light. Alma, give us some light, please. Hello. Hey, what? What's wrong? <laughs>